Something's very strange happened with Devona Smith and Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins fans are very interested in Devona Smith because he is not only a target in the draft of Miami, but he is also a very close friend of Tua Tungavailoa. They come from the same place, led by the same coach. And of course, the future will be great if both of you play at the Hard Rock Stadium. But, things are reversing with unpredictable developments in Miami. Chan Gailey is fired. It's not like the way people hide and say he's resigned. Shortly thereafter, Tua Tungavailoa was criticized by his teammates. Fitzpatrick, whom fans call Fitzmagic, is in danger of leaving as a free agent. Devonta Smith, who was seen as the main target on the Miami Dolphins' first pick at 2021 draft, suffered a similar injury to Tua Tungavailoa's thumb. So what's going on? As Alabama team Dr. Lyle Kane was trying to fix Devona Smith's dislocated finger, this sideline medical tent was the focus of national intrigue. Lyle Kane had sweated through everything he owned. His hands, in fact, were so sweaty that Alabama's team doctor was having trouble doing his job, which, at the time, was to slip Devona Smith's dislocated right index finger back into its joint. Kane's hands were wet enough that he needed gloves, but in this small, stuffy, inflatable medical tent erected on the Crimson Tide sideline, there existed only one pair of gloves, the ones Smith wore to catch 12 passes for 215 yards and three touchdowns in the first half of the national championship game. Here, Smith, in immense pain, his finger dangling out of its joint, told Kane, use mine. As all this was happening, the sideline medical tent was the focus of national intrigue. After all, let's look at the situation. Inside the tent was the Heisman Trophy winner who had left the game while having one of the greatest performances in the history of college football title bouts. Every now and then, a person would leave the tent and then return to it. An Alabama staff member stood outside of its closed entrance standing guard like a sentry. Five minutes passed. Ten minutes passed. Twenty minutes passed. Where was Devonta? What was going on? The world stood mystified. Inside, it was a cramped, hot mess. Kane, two of his top assistants, team trainer Jeff Allen and Smith were huddled together with the sole purpose of fixing the finger. Smith insisted on returning to the game immediately. He even eschewed a numbing shot. Expecting to return to the field, he did not want to attempt to catch passes with a tingly hand. Everyone was dripping in sweat, Kane most of all. With Smith biting into a balled-up towel in pain and his two assistants holding down the player's arm, Kane worked for nearly 25 minutes attempting to pop back in place a finger that hung somewhat loose. Smith got the finger caught in an Ohio State player's jersey on what would be his final play. It was bent backwards where the base of the finger meets the palm. We were basically in the tent in the tent trying to do everything we can to get him back in that game. Hated it didn't work out, Kane says in an interview with Sports Illustrated on Thursday. It was a struggle. I've been doing this a long time. I've been at the university for 20 years and have dealt with a lot of other teams and athletes, including at the professional level. He's as tough a kid as I've ever seen. Smith's dislocation was severe enough that a simple fix wasn't possible. At some point, after nearly a half hour inside the medical tent, Kane told the receiver the bad news, and they walked him to the locker room for X rays. Earlier this week, Smith underwent surgery, somewhat of a rarity for a dislocation. But his future prognosis is strong. Doctors expect his finger to have full functionality. It had a rare variation where it wasn't able to be put back in without having surgery, which is pretty uncommon, says Kane, who also serves as an orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist with Andrews Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center. Smith's injury was one Kane and his staff encountered during Alabama's 52-24 win over Ohio State on Monday night. There were enough bumps and bruises that Kane jests it would have been difficult for the Crimson Tide to play another game this season. Today, Smith required surgery earlier this week to fix his finger that was dislocated during the CFP title game in a story released by Ross Dellinger of Sports Illustrated. It was revealed that Alabama wide receiver Devonta Smith underwent surgery on his dislocated finger that he suffered during the first half of the Crimson Tide's 52 24 win over Ohio State in the college football playoff national championship. According to Dellinger, Smith dislocated the finger when it was caught in a Buckeyes player's jersey, forcing him to enter the medical tent. The story also revealed that Alabama team physician Dr. Lyle Kane attempted to realign the finger for roughly 25 minutes. The whole time, Smith was hoping to leave the tent and immediately return to play. 
After failed attempt after failed attempt, Kane had to inform Smith that he wouldn't be able to return, and he was sent to the locker room for x-rays. It had a rare variation where it wasn't able to be put back in without having surgery, which is pretty uncommon, Kane told SI. Kane was disappointed that he and his staff were unable to relocate Smith's finger. In the first half of the CFP title game, Smith had been able to reel in 12 catches for 215 yards and three touchdowns. The 12 catches and three scores were both CFP records, and the 215 yards were just seven short of the title game record for that as well. Despite Smith's injury not being able to be corrected on the field, Kane complimented Smith on his resiliency. We were basically in the tent trying to do everything we can to get him back in that game. Hated it didn't work out, Kane said. It was a struggle. I've been doing this a long time. I've been at the university for 20 years and have dealt with a lot of other teams and athletes, including at the professional level. He's as tough a kid as I've ever seen. Devona may look like a sleight of frame wide receiver who couldn't possibly get off the line at 175 pounds. But looks can be deceiving. Smith authored an incredible opening to his career with a game winning national championship catch his freshman year and closed it with a Heisman Trophy his senior year. Not once did his size prevent him from becoming the most productive wide receiver in Alabama history. Not bad for a program that has a history of receivers like Ozzie Newsome, Julio Jones, Amari Cooper and Calvin Ridley, among others. Smith had no problem getting off press coverage, toasted man matchups and swallowed up zones on his way to 1,856 yards and 23 touchdowns and 117 receptions. He did not do it by stacking his numbers against lesser competition. He did it against 13 Power 5 opponents. He most recently dusted Ohio State's Sean Wade, getting 12 receptions and 215 yards and 3 touchdowns in the first half of the national championship game. He plays bigger than his size. He uses it as almost an advantage. It made me want to just do everything more physical and be a bigger version of what I am, Smith said. Everybody thinking I'm so small, showing everybody that I'm not the person you can bully. Despite that fact, Smith's size will be the biggest obstacle he has to overcome by decision makers evaluating how much of an investment they're going to put into him. Some observers have likened his game to Marvin Harrison and Jerry Rice in terms of the way they played. He was Alabama's biggest weapon on an offense full of weapons. Even with defenses geared to stop him, they couldn't, no matter what strategy they employed. Smith wrote a history at Alabama that will stand for generations to come. If surrounding quarterback Tua Tungavailoa with talented playmakers is the priority this offseason, then look no further, general manager Chris Greer. There might not be a better fit than reuniting the former Alabama quarterback-receiver duo. In order to maximize Tungavailoa's potential, the Dolphins need more offensive firepower, especially at receiver, and Smith would provide immediate, game-changing speed. Tungavailoa would obviously approve of the pick. After Alabama defeated Ohio State earlier this week in the CFP Championship, Tungavailoa uploaded an old photo of him and Smith, captioned with a pair of goat emojis to his Instagram story. Smith played with swagger and dominance at Hard Rock Stadium this week. How happy would Tungavailoa be posting a similar photo in a few months, but with Smith wearing a Dolphins jersey?